Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to load multiple financial stocks data into Power BI. So for today's tutorial, I'll be using Python and its package called Y Finance to do this task. So you have followed my channel. I have done this tutorial before. So I actually taught you how to load single financial stocks data using one script. So for today's tutorial, I will teach you how to load multiple stocks data using one script but by doing so it will actually entail a more complex code so i hope that you follow through this tutorial to understand how the code works so how to load multiple stocks data so first we need to define the list of stocks that we want to analyze so for this tutorial i will be analyzing these three stocks apple microsoft and facebook so i need to list down their code in order for me to retrieve the data from Y finance so next I will retrieve the financial data for each company one by one and stack them together into a unified data set. So as you can see, uh, when you stack all this data together, so the data will actually be mixed up. So we need to find a way to regroup the unified data set into their various category so that we are able to display the chart correctly. So here are the prerequisites that you should have before you continue with the tutorial. So just to check whether you have all these prerequisites, it's possible to go to Anaconda Prompt. First, you try to create this environment called Y Finance. So if you have created this, it will say that an environment has exist at whatever place. So for myself, I will not be removing it. Then next, you activate Y Finance, which is your environment, and check if you have installed this before. So just click Install Y Finance. And once it's done, now open up your Power BI. So go to Option and Settings, Options. Over your Python scripting, make sure that under this option called set python home directory you will be able to see that your current directory is Y finance so if it's not go to your anaconda folder go to environment and choose Y finance over here and click ok then after you have done everything uh, click ok here okay so now let's get started with the code so firstly go to get data Type in Python. Okay, so now the first thing you need to do is to import all the relevant libraries. So if you go back to my slides, you just need to copy and paste these libraries into Power BI. So here you can put a comment, import libraries. Okay, okay, next we need to define the list of stocks data that you are interested in so we just copy this and paste it in so for here i will put a comment uh, retrieve uh, relevant stocks data so for myself uh, i'm interested in these three data which is apple microsoft and facebook okay so next we need to define the start and end date for the data that we are retrieving so for example if you want just one year data you need to retrieve from 2019 to 2020 so for this case you will retrieve one year worth of data from today's date so here we retrieve one year worth of data from today's date so you just copy and paste this in so if you want to retrieve more than one year you can actually multiply this by two to get two years worth of data or if you want less than one year you can get 180 which is about half a year so for this tutorial i'll be sticking to one year worth of data okay so after defining your start and end date now is the complicated part where we need to look through 
the stock list to retrieve all the stock's data and combine them into a unified data set. So for this, we copy and paste this thing in to Power BI. So here, I just write in some comment. From the list to Power BI. So I just copy and paste. So after doing so, press OK. Okay, then you see this data set here. You just select this and press load. Okay, so after your data set has been loaded, it will be over here. So you can actually see the data over here. So you can see that the three stocks data is loaded in Apple, Facebook and Microsoft. Okay, so for the last stage, we need to split this data into the various stocks category. So as you can see, it's, it's mixed. La. It's mixed. Uh, you will get Microsoft, Apple and Facebook data into one huge data set. So if you plot this, uh, your graph may be misleading. So what I need you to do now is to go to this link and download this multi-line chart. Okay, so press the get it now. Continue. Download for Power BI. So once it's downloaded over here, okay, go back to your Power BI. Over here, you can click this get more visuals, import a visual from a file. Okay, import. So for this, uh, go to your download folder and click on this, the multi-line chart. So after importing this, you will see a new chart over here. So by clicking this, okay, you can start populating your chart now. So for the small multiple, I'll put the stock's name inside. For the axis, I will put in the date. So for this, make sure that you select the date category, not the date hierarchy. And next, I'll be analyzing the high and low data. So you can see your data is populated over here. So now you can do some formatting so, so that you can make your graph more presentable. You can go to layout, you can change to columns, you can change to, let's say, I'm interested in three columns. And if you want to resize the y axis, you can and change it to divide evenly. So you can actually see over here. Okay, so to make your chart more obvious, you can go to line styling over here. Then you scroll all the way down to show area. So once you show the area, you'll be here. You can change the transparency. Yeah, so that your chart will be more obvious so that you can see three distinct uh, stocks over here. So now if you add in a slicer, you can actually adjust the date yeah so you can shift from september to to let's say january to show this year's stocks data only so you can see the chart will actually change automatically yep so with this i've come to the end of my tutorial i hope that you enjoy my content if you like my content do remember to like share and subscribe thank you for your time